This is um, uh, the All Star um, uh, 313 um, wheelbase crawler. Now it's also got um, uh, um, uh, a hard body Cherokee um, uh, Comanche cab. You know, depending on what, whether you get the bed or the, you know, the over the round it. I had to um, uh, modify the back by making this so it sits on there more firmly without it falling back. But um, uh, underneath this, as you can see, one of the um, magnets have come off. But um, uh, as you, I'm, I'm using this just temporarily. I'll be, end up gluing them in. But today I'll be using a 2,700 mile free cell battery which is obviously using Dean's and um, uh, and um, uh, also oh yeah I've got um, 25k steering servo and I've got a programmable um, ESC crawler so um, uh, that's all been programmed in that and I'll also be using the FSG5 um, uh, transmitter in which obviously it's got a, it's got a, a receiver six it's a six channel receiver in there but like you know I, the time before was really dark but as you can see I'm using the mounts here but obviously I'm going to be using the back but now you can see where it's all steel steel and this a lot of it's plastic you no know, plastic axles you know I went back to the original um, front bumper, but I got it a back bumper. You know what I mean? Whether I'm going to put lights in them, I don't know. But we'll get this going, and we'll see how it goes. And I um, can't wait. Oh, look, this. Yeah, this has got everything. You can get 20 models on this. You can name them, um, change them. Uh, the weather pattern, um, uh, all these types of things on it. So, you know what I mean? We get this on the go. I'll put the, the body on. And then, oops, sorry about that. And then we get going. <coughs> Hope you can see that. Oh, yeah, I forgot to turn it on. That would be a good idea. Can't forget that. It's got all over gear in it. And my gloves. Forgetting everything, trying to get this going. Right then. Oops. Here you go. it crawls well now a lot better than before it's still got a lot of power I might have to bring the body back a bit as you notice but it looks all right at the moment but like I said it's only temporary Scratch up the paint work. Nope. Sorted. That's gorse, it's quite prickly.
Uh, water levels up. <clears throat> yeah, I might put different tyres on this. Yeah, I'm not sure how much time I'll get from this, this free cell. Hopefully, you know, at least half an hour to an hour maybe. Got all the power it needs. some rubbish on it. I'm thinking of somewhere else for some reason. That's way too deep. Go as close as I can to it, but I'm not going in there. car will just disappear into the water. And then probably what well, cease to work because the receiver box is not waterproof full stop. And I'm not sure about this um, uh, servo. They said it was waterproof on there but 
I don't know, you know what I mean? So I'm just being a bit careful for now. You know, do the usual route for the non waterproof stuff. It's doing alright. It's bound to, you know. <coughs> yeah, this, this all star, this all star, should I say, is is not a bad little motor. You know, don't get me wrong, it's not the best, and uh, and the the axle will outperform it, probably. We put a few, get a few upgrades. You know what I mean? It's guaranteed to be, a, you know. A decent motor for the price you pay for it. You now, all in all, you know what I mean. I, with all this, yeah, the body, the body cost me about 25 quid. That's because I'm, uh, I thought I was buying the whole entire lot, including the back half. But I didn't get the back half, so I made a complaint about it because I thought I was getting the back half, and they <coughs> discounted it, to it for me. So I got it for 25, around about £25. I paid about a um, tenner for the servo itself. So, 